A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke, chapter 1, verses 26 to 38. The passage is taken from the message version of the Bible. In the six months of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to the Galilean village of Nazareth to a virgin engaged to be married to a man descended from David. His name was Joseph, and the virgin's name, Mary. Upon entering, Gabriel greeted her. Good morning. You are beautiful with God's beauty. Beautiful inside and out. God be with you. She was thoroughly shaking, wondering what was behind a greeting like that. But the angel assured her, Mary, you are nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. He will be great, be called Son of the Highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. He will ruin Jacob's house forever. No end ever to his kingdom. Mary said to the angel, But how? I have never slept with a man. The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest hover over you. Therefore, the child you bring to birth will be called Holy Son of God. And did you know that your cousin Elizabeth conceived a son? As old as she is, everyone called her barren. And here she is six months pregnant. Nothing you see is impossible with God. And Mary said, Yes, I see it all now. I am the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me. Just as you say. Then the angel left. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection according to St. Luke chapter 1 verses 26 to 38. Journeys of Faith. Here we are presented with the extraordinary account of the angel Gabriel's visit to the Virgin Mary, announcing the conception of Jesus. This passage marks the momentous occasion of the Immaculate Conception, where Mary, through the Holy Spirit, conceives the Son of God without any stain of original sin. Mary's encounter with the angel reveals her profound humility and openness to God's divine plan. Despite the initial confusion and fear, Mary's response, Let it be to me according to your word, showcases her unwavering faith and submission to God's will. The angel's greeting, Hail, full of grace, signifies Mary's unique role in salvation history. Her immaculate nature, free from sin, positions her as a fitting vessel to bear the Son of God. This purity contrasts with the fallen state of humanity, highlighting the significance of Christ's redemptive mission. The Immaculate Conception holds theological importance as it foreshadows the purity and holiness that Christ brings into the world. Mary's sinless state aligns with the scriptural promise of a woman who will bear a child to crush the serpent's head. Mary's fiat, her acceptance of God's plan, becomes a model for our own response to God's call in our lives. Her obedience and surrender echo through the ages, inviting us to embrace God's will with humility and trust. As we reflect on the Immaculate Conception, we are reminded of the depth of God's love and His meticulous preparation for the Incarnation. Mary, conceived without sin, becomes a vessel of grace embodying the purity and receptivity that each believer is called to cultivate in their relationship with God. This feast invites us to ponder the mystery of the Incarnation and to emulate Mary's openness to God's divine interventions in our lives. May her example inspire us to say, yes, to God's will with hearts full of grace, echoing the transformative power of God's redemptive plan in our own journeys of faith.